up, I used to listen to kind of a really weird mix of stuff, kind of a mix of stuff like old school UK garage, like DJ Luck and MC Neat, uh, as well as the kind of stuff my parents were playing me, so stuff like the Beach Boys and the Rolling Stones, um, as well as like some old school UK jungle, like stuff like Andy C and Shimon. Uh, so I kind of got a really weird mix of like dance music and rock as well. Uh, and since then I've kind of got as well into stuff like Daft Punk and, and more like, like a lot of disco, stuff like LCD Sound System, um, as well as uh, kind of the more like noisy English side of things like Apex Twin and stuff like that. I just want to play as many gigs as I can really, just uh, play as many gigs in London. Uh, there are some clubs in London that I still haven't played at, clubs like Fabric and stuff, and I'd still like to play there. And as well, get out kind of outside of London and meet people outside of London, play some gigs in other bits of the UK and maybe in Europe and stuff as well. Um, hopefully do a lot more producing, like uh, I've got a few remixes for people going on at the moment, um, as well as some original productions which are getting played out a bit. So keep doing that and yeah, just try and get as many gigs and make as many songs as possible. Uh, well, uh, Fabian kept, uh, saw my name on like a couple of gigs and kind of began to uh, see what I was doing and he, uh, so he sent me a message on MySpace asking if I wanted to DJ at the first gig, the first one of these like gigs he's organising, a few bands and a DJ, and asking uh, if I wanted to help him out a bit with that. So I said, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll come down and DJ. And kind of from there, it's just, I've got more and more involved with it, like helping him find bands for it, talking to bands about whether they want to be involved with Eurostars, like more than just the concert. So kind of building like a whole thing of bands and Eurostars working together, like uh, young bands that I know, and. Uh, that whole kind of young scene of bands. Well, at the moment, uh, as well as the whole stuff I'm doing with Eurostars, helping them hook up with bands for gigs, and as well, hopefully, to get some like songs out on Eurostars, uh, I've got a couple of other things. Um, I'm a resident DJ at a night called Toys R Us. Uh, which is a really exciting new night uh, with uh, this guy called Nee. Um, so yeah, we're trying to do one a month now. So uh, we had our first one in January uh, of 2009, which was uh, at a venue called The Russian. Uh, a whole load of DJs came down, it was an amazing night. Um, and then we've got a few more planned for February and March, um, which should be amazing. The February one's in kind of like this 1,000 capacity venue, so the biggest one yet. Uh, and we've got DJ Luck and MC Neat headlining, so that's going to be amazing. And then March, it, we're doing an exclusive one with uh, Reebok, um, uh, like this exclusive Reebok location for London Fashion Week. Um, so it's a uh, free bar all night, uh, free Reeboks for me. It's a quality night. Uh, and also, um, I've kind of just, um, I'm in the middle of doing this uh, competition for, to play at Fabric. It's like there's this night at Fabric called Union and they're having a competition for a new resident DJ at Union. Uh, so I got from 250 to 50. Uh, and I'm just waiting to hear if I got down, if I get down to the last six, then I have a slot of fabric. Uh, and if I win, then I get a regular slot of fabric every month. I go to Ibiza, uh, all the major festivals this year. Uh, yeah, so that's the kind of stuff I got going on. I think probably the best one I've played at was um, Matter, which is the new um, club owned by Fabric in the Millennium Dome, uh, which was just this amazing place. Like I think it's one, of, I think it's the biggest club in London in like terms of capacity. Uh, so I went down there and I just took uh, all my CDs uh, and a few vinyl, um, and they've got the most amazing setup there. Like pretty much uh, like DJ equipment for literally any adventure. Anyone who wants to come down with any kit, they can like you, you can use their kit. It's amazing and they've got such a nice little, they've got this booth just over this massive dance floor with lights and stuff and it was just, it was an amazing set. I'm doing a remix 
gigs for uh, Nii, this guy who I do a lot of gigs with and um, he works on the Toys R Us club that I've got a residency at. Um, so I remixed his track, Amelia, uh, and you can hear that on my MySpace as well. Um, and I've also got uh, a couple of productions of my own, um, a track called This Is Sick, uh, which has been getting played out a bit. I've been playing it out quite a lot. Um, and there's also a track called Ain't No Man, um, which since I finished it has had an amazing response whenever I've played it. And it's been played, I think it was played in Germany last week, a club in Germany, uh, which was just amazing. Like I got sent over a video of this guy playing it in Germany and yeah, it just kind of blew my mind. But. Uh, yeah, a few bands and a DJ is the new thing that me and Fabian uh, and everyone from Eurostars is putting on. Uh, it's going to be, as their name suggests, a few bands and a DJ playing at a venue. Um, and I think it looks like the first one is going to be in early March. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be all ages, it's going to be under 18s. Um, and I think it's going to be pretty good. Like It's going to be, uh, be kind of like similar to all the other all ages gigs going on, but I think a lot better because it's kind of at the moment it looks like we're going to have an amazing lineup for the first one. And it's kind of being run a lot by, by me and the bands. Like we're having a big say in what's going on, like choosing the venue, stuff like that. So I think it's, yeah, it's going to be amazing. And uh, if you check uh, my MySpace or the Eurostars website, which is launching soon, then you'll be able to see exactly when it is and where it is and stuff.